So uh, for today's Tree of Sunday, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and mix up um, and do a old school entertainment trivia. Um, the reason I said this is because today, I won't, today especially, but within the last couple of days, they've been having a lot of marathons on TV of really, not even really old shows, but shows that have already been finished for a while, like Buffy and Friends and uh, yeah, like shows like that. So I've been watching those marathons and I was like, you know what, I'm an old school person, I love old school music, I love old school movies and shows, I think that's the early to like 1960s through early 2000s is when they had the best shows and movies. They still have pretty good shows and movies, but it's not as common. Me personally, that's what I think. I mean, obviously some people will disagree. Um, but because of all the merits I've been watching, all that kind of, th that being my preference, I figured, you know what, why don't I test my dog and see how well I do. So, uh, got, I don't even know how many questions I have, actually. Um, not too many, but anyway, I'm going to go through them and see how well I know my stuff. Let's get started. So, so the, the first, first question, question is, is, what is the name of Dr. Seuss's egg hatching elephant? I've never read about a egg hatching elephant in my life. I love Dr. Seuss, but I never heard of that, so I don't, I, I don't know the answer. Uh, I don't know. If you guys know, you can leave a comment down below. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the answer is Horton. I don't know. What the, I, I, I heard Horton, but I never knew what it was. I just thought it was like a cartoon movie they made or something. Like, I knew it was. I didn't actually know it was a book, actually. I'm gonna have to read that, because I like Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is like the best. Cartoon writer ever, personal opinion. Obviously, you can disagree, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, in case anybody's wondering, I'm reading all these questions off my tablet. Who was Clark Kent's high school sweetheart? That one I know so well. It was on the link. He ended up with Lois um, Lane. But he did it in high school, or he had a crush on, uh, well, Lang. Very similar last names, if they're not. Um, I'm not even sure she was a real character in the comic books. I only knew she was in the TV show, Smallville, which was based on Clark Kent slash Superman. If anyone knows if that was actually a name in the comic books, please leave a comment and let me know, because I, I don't know if it was. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, definitely let me know. So, next question. What novel contains the longest sentence in literature? I read a lot of books. I can definitely tell you that, like, very good confidence, um, and I read pretty good, good, um, you know, pretty advanced books. Um, I've always been like that, but I never really counted sentences in a book. I mean, I know pages, but not really sentences, so I don't know the answer to that one. Um, okay, so the answer is Glenn Miserable. That is a really, really good book, um, and even better movie and musical. So if you have not read it, I would definitely recommend it. And if you speak French, I would recommend it, or read French, get in French because it's even better in French. But uh, it's a really good book, and if you have not seen the movie, you definitely need to see the movie because it had great writing, great acting, great setting, great clothing, great everything. And it starred Hugh Jackman, Anne Hathaway, Amanda Seyfried, and they all and Russell Crowe and they all were so great in that and their singing was so amazing like you couldn't even tell they're not professional singers because of how amazing their voices are um, especially uh, Russell Crowe was blew, blew me away with his singing and his acting and the ending was really sad but uh, if you're not into tragedy I wouldn't recommend this 
movie. But I'm not into and I still like it, so you know, it kind of depends. Um, if you're someone who hates strategy, then I don't recommend it. But if you're not someone who hates them, then you, you need to see this movie. <laughs> and if not, to see the play or not. So, uh, yeah. Next. What if book begins? Chug, 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 pop, pop, pop. Let's well, make it. I love that book. I read it like 20 million times when I was little, so I kind of that one like off the top of my head. Um, I did tell you I was a big reader, so you, you've been warned. Next question. What was the first Polish drugs home story written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? I'm sorry, I feel so bad about this, but I only, I've only read like one book of Sherlock. Um, I've only read one, so I don't really need to listen to it. But I have seen all the movies and uh, shows and all that stuff that has followed Sherlock. I always meant to read, read the rest of I meant to read the rest of the series and I've never gotten around to it. Just because another book will catch my eye and I just forget about it. But I'm going to read to it eventually something this year. I'm making that vow now on camera. I will read it something this year. I may even do a segment called Reading Out Loud. <laughs> and I promise you it's not going to be completely boring with me reading a whole entire book. I will just probably do a chap read chapter and then just do video me reviewing the chapter or an reenactment of the chapter or various points in the chapter that I find interesting or I don't know or maybe I just may read chapters and have people come on and review it themselves or I don't know I may do something crazy and wild but I don't know I may have this reenactment and have people try to guess what it's about like miming it or uh I don't I don't know I may have People come on and interview them. <laughs> I tell them like summarize the chapter and just have them like debate it or interview them and find out what they think about it. The random chapter. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just going to my But I will. I will read it. I promise you that now. I will. I. I will. Next question. Oops, I forgot to find the answer. Uh, the answer. Is a Scarlet and say in Scarlet in 1887. Yeah. Now it's the next question. Um, what was the name of the girlfriend of Felix Cat? Oh no, I skipped the question. To whom did Herman Melville dug his novel Moby Dick? Nathaniel Hawthorne, who wrote the Scarlet Letter. I know this because I love both books. I love them. I love them. I love them. They were the best books I've ever written. I there are a lot of really really awesome books. Those are amazing books. Um, I also thought it was really funny that someone who wrote a book about a whale, they gave a book, the book to another author who wrote about adultery. But like, <laughs> I just found that really weird, I don't know. The two most animous books at their time were dedicated to each other. Well, he, he didn't, nothing of the Hawthorne didn't dedicate the book to him, actually. No. You guys don't talk about them. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, I, I, I just know that <laughs> Next question. Okay, so, what was the name of the girlfriend of Felix Cat? I don't even know what that is. What is that? What is Felix Cat? I don't know. Why would there be something called that? I don't know. If you guys want to answer, please, do comment, please. Because I am confused. I don't know. Okay, so it's the answer. Phyllis. Felix and Felix. Okay. Uh, um, I, 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 I don't know words. No words. Next question. Under what is assumed name? Oscar Wilde lived out the last three years of